Hey guys, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Referral Marketing Guru. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, great day yesterday, Anzac Day for those that are um, not in um, Australia or the UK. Uh, Anzac Day is um, a great day we get to honour uh, fallen soldiers, um, military uh, for the service that they've done and in particular those that have gone off to war, not return and um, given us the freedom that we've got. So great day um, yesterday being able to celebrate that and really take in what it means. Uh, it really brings together a lot of people but not what we're talking about here today. Uh, what I was talking about, we've got a great question on I've got a client who wants to be able to uh, refer business to me. How do I go about making that happen? So there's a couple of things that I just want to touch on before we get into actually answering that question and what we do. Firstly, there's a difference between are they a referral because they actually have a uh, problem that you solve and they actually want to speak to you. So that's the first thing you want to just ascertain is are they a referral needing help or are they more just a connection? So many people just connect people with each other saying, oh, I've got a referral for you where that person actually doesn't have the need for your solution or more importantly, actually want to speak to you. So you want to firstly make sure that if someone says, hey, I've got a referral for you, you want to make sure that it is actually a referral, i.e. they have the problem that you fix and secondly, they actually want to fix it or is it I've just got someone who you need to connect to because what you do there is completely different. So this is what we do. If it's an actual referral, meaning the person has a problem that we fix, they actually want to speak to us, and um, they need the solution, so therefore we're going to ask that person, can you please connect us via email? And that's just going to be a simple, uh, hi name, please meet Michael, Michael, please meet name. Name does blah, 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 blah. We were just speaking and your name came up and they're really interested in the solutions you offer. So now the person who has the referral has handed it over to you. There's been a introduction where you've been able to piggyback on the referrer's uh, credibility and the link has now been made. And now we can take that potential uh, referee, so to speak, and do some good stuff with them. So first thing was, understand, is it actually a real referral or is it a connection? If it's a real referral, then I'm going to ask that person who is going to refer us, connect us via email, so then I can pick up it from there. So once I've got that connection via email, I'm then going to just simply um, email them straight back, go thank you to the person who referred you. Uh, really appreciate the introduction. And then I'm going to say, it's so great to meet you to that other person's name. And again, now we've gone off the back of their credibility in tying the name to that potential uh, referee. After that, I'm going to get the person who has just referred to me to book in a time in my calendar for us to speak. So that's the next hoop that I want them to jump through. If they can't be bothered jumping through that hoop, they're obviously not serious enough to have a conversation because they're not serious enough in wanting that solution fixed. So that's a nice little stepping stone to ensure that you're not wasting time with people who actually don't want the solution at all. Okay, You don't have enough time to have coffee chats and meetups with people. They either um, have spoken to the to the person who's doing the referral, they're excited about how you might be able to help, they want to speak to you, or they don't. And either way is fine, but by having that little loop in there, you're gonna work out whether it's somebody who actually wants to speak to you and wants a solution, rather than not wanting a solution, okay? So once they uh, respond to that email, they book in a time, we then just get on and we just find out more about them. Okay, it's, uh, let's t work out what you do, how you do it, is there a fit, what sort of help do you want, and we just take it from there. So that's what we do and what we get people to do if they have a real referral for us. Now, the reason I say real referral is because the word referral is just bandied around out there so, um, so incorrectly most of the time. Like someone will say, I've got a referral to you. Well, it's just connecting two people together. 
it's not a referral, it's a connection. And that's fine. But um, I suppose we want to just continue to educate people on our language and the right sort of language that, that we're using out there. Okay, so if it's just a connection, so this is the other type of person it might be, where someone just wants to connect with you, they're not right for your solution at the moment, but they might be somewhere down the track. So in that instance, I don't need to speak to them right now. So I'll get someone, I'll get that referrer, the person who has the potential uh, referral, I'll get them to shoot them over a, a nine point game plan. They'll fill in, fill in their details, they'll now sit in our audience and we'll continue to educate them until they are ready. We'll get them to come join the referral network group. So we'll do something that's not as high risk as come jump on the call. So really, which path you take has to come at the very start for when someone comes to you and says, let's just go, um, John's come to me and says, oh, Michael, I've got a referral for you. You go, brilliant, thanks so much. you just got to ask one question there. And it's just simply, are they looking for whatever your solution is or are they looking to connect? And if they're looking to connect, perfect. We don't need to go down the let's jump on a call path. Come join us by grabbing um, one of our downloads or come join us in the Referral Network Facebook group. That's plenty. If the answer is, are oh, they're looking for some sort of solution, perfect. Would you mind connecting us via email and I'll pick it up from there. Okay. And if you're not sure, stick to the email side because if they're not ready to speak to you, then they're not going to book in a, a time on your calendar anyway for that particular call. Okay, so I thought, great question. So many other people um, wanted to know something similar over the, over the past weeks in different roundabout ways. So hey, it gave me some inspiration to jump on and get that answered. Um, and, and we'll post this back into that group for that person to look at also. If you're not part of the Referral Network Facebook group, love for you to come over, jump in. If you just search in Facebook there, uh, Referral Network, it will easily come up first. Uh, amazing people in there who are always trying to create opportunities for one another, partnering with one another, helping one another. So it's not a group where you just come into and sell your stuff. That's never going to get allowed through. Uh, it's a group where it's like, hey, I'm looking for accountants. Who knows any? Or I'm looking to be able to partner with this sort of person who could open some doors for me. We just probably don't leverage our networks well enough and therefore we're doing so much stuff by ourselves rather than through other people helping do stuff for us. So if you're not part of that referral network group, hey, come jump in over there. I'd love to be able to hang out with you there and introduce you to some amazing people that are part of our networks. But otherwise, uh, thanks for jumping in. Um, those people who have jumped in live, really appreciate you jumping on. And those people who are watching this as a recording, thank you for stopping by and watching it. And I look forward to catching up with you real soon. Take care, everyone.